Monk, and this is my neighbor Ayurie, and she's gonna take a piano lesson. And um, she's really good. She's smart, and she learns quickly. That's why she's here. So Ayurie, ha tell me about some of your experience with the piano. Well, before I've been taking lessons from you, um, I have had some experience, um, but it's been a while. Okay. So let's review some of what we, well, you know what, let's not review. Let's take it as if the people at home are learning with you, okay? okay? So, first, describe what you see when you look at a piano. Well, um, I see white keys, and then I see higher black keys. Okay, and tell me about the black keys. The black keys are in sets of two and three. The sets of two are, I remember you told me that they're called twins, and the sets of three are called triplets. Yeah, it's just something to help you remember, okay? It's not like official, all mm -hmm. right? You're not going to find that in the music book. <laughs> all right. Now, we talked about finding the note C. Which key is C? I remember you said that at the beginning, of every set of twins, there is a note C. Okay. That's right to your left or right of the, C, of the twins? To your left. Okay. Good. So find C anywhere on the piano. Now find another one. And find another one. And find another one. Very good. Now, um, what do you call the distance? between one C and the next, C, the very next C. I remember you told me that between one C and the next C are eight keys, so you call it an octave, like is an op octopus or octogon. Yeah, <laughs> okay, very good, octogon, huh? Very nice. <laughs> okay, so um, in the musical alphabet, how far does the musical alphabet go? Well, it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over. Okay, so just with your finger, one finger, like po poke each key and tell me which what they are, starting from C, going up an octave. Um, this is C. Mm -hmm. Use your index finger. Mm. C, D, E, F, G. Very good. Now, I want you to take your right hand and I want you to play that octave starting from middle C. Now, let me tell you about middle C. Middle C is usually the closest C to the, the name of the piano. That indicates the middle of the keyboard, all right? So starting at middle C, which one is middle C? I want you to use your right hand and I want you to demonstrate the fingering that you know for the C major scale. Okay? Okay. Um, your right hand. There you go. The mm -hmm. other right. There. <laughs> okay. C. Wait. Use the numbers. Very good. Do it one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can you do it backwards? Five, four, three, two, one, two, one. Very good. Can you start an octave lower with your left hand and do the C major scale? With your left hand. Two octaves? One octave. Okay. Is that a one? Is your pinky one? Show me the fingers. What are, what are the numbers on your fingers? One. Hold your fingers up. Okay. One, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, and on the other hand? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the thumb is always? Oh, one. Okay. Okay, so? So it's? Where's C? Right here. What finger goes on C? Thumb. Really? On that oh, hand? Oh, no, the, um, three. Really? The pinky? Are you guessing? You're guessing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, when you were coming down the octave, which hand, which finger was on C? Pinky. Okay, it's the same thing with this hand when you're going up. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Oh, the light bulb. <laughs> The light bulb came on. All right, go ahead. One, two, two, three, four, five. Mm -mm. Do the right hand again, and then and watch what you're doing, cause you already know this. Coming, coming down. Mhm. Mm Pinky. One, two, three. Really? Think about it. One, two, three, four, five. Three, two, one. Okay, but you're counting backwards, honey. Your pinky oh, is which oh, number? Okay. <laughs> you did it right. Five, you just said the wrong numbers. That's all. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, now start over here with the other hand. Say the same thing. Okay, I get it. Five, five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Very good. Do it one more time for your memory. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Very good. Now put your hand there again. Let me let me show you something about your hand position. Put your hands there like you're ready to play. All right. Relax this, right, and just keep your wrist so that all this is straight. Okay. Doesn't that feel a little more comfortable? Kind of get a little a little more comfortable. All right. Just kind of. Relax that, your shoulder, all right? Okay. Try it one more time. See if it feels better. Five, four, three, two, one, three, mm -hmm. two, one. Perfect. All right. Now, did you get a chance to try both hands? They don't cross at the same time, so it gets a little, you know, something yeah, you have to think about. You want to try it slowly? Um, sure. Okay. Right there and right there. Okay. All right. We're going to do it really slow. Okay. Here's the count. And wait for me to say, ready, go, all right? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. Wait. Yeah, now cross over on that hand. Keep going. Uh-huh. 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 Now cross over that hand and keep going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And perfect. Yay. Okay. So that's what I need you to work on for our next lesson. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's how that goes. And then when you get it in your head, do it backwards. Okay. Okay. Now let's review two octaves, the fingering for two octaves. For two octaves, um start in middle C. Okay. Um Five, no, that's one. One. Three, mm -mm, two. That was one. One, one, two, three. Mm hmm One, two, three, four. Mm hmm One, two, three. Mm hmm One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Try one more time. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Can you do it the other way? Coming back down? No, on your right hand. Can you do it coming back down on your right hand? Um. The other right hand. Up there. Yeah, coming down. Oh. Starting your five, fifth finger on C, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good. 
Now let's see you go up the scale on your left hand, <coughs> two octaves. Is that C? Okay. was incomplete, right? Did you hear that? Kind of. Try it again. Perfect. Okay. So you hear how that's supposed to sound, right? <laughs> and that's, what did we call that scale? What kind of scale is that? That is Remember we talked about when it sounds like do a dear, you know, um, do, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It's called a what kind of scale? Starts with an M. Long A. Me. Two syllables. Major oh. scale. <laughs> major scale. Yeah, I didn't add, I didn't drill you on that one, huh? But so the major scale. Remember how? Oh, we need to talk about intervals, right? Remember intervals? Remind me just. A little what bit. is an interval? The distance between. Between two op two octaves? Mm-mm. Close. The distance between one note and another note. Oh, I thought that. Okay. So, now, the smallest interval, I don't know if you remember that, we called it unison. Now, the smallest interval is this, and unison is that. The smallest interval is when you don't move. Okay? So that's called unison. So, like, if I'm singing this note, and you're singing this note, we're singing in unison. Okay. Okay? So, then after that, the next smallest interval is from here to the very next key, which is a black key in this case. Okay. All right. So, the distance between here and here, we call them some kind of steps, right? And we use basic math. So, from here to here is a half step. Okay? Okay. So now in math, if you have here and here is a half step, and here and here is a half step, you have two halves, right? Which is a whole step. Right. So now, I want you to, you see here, this, it does not have a black key in the middle, right? No. So from here, where is the whole step? From there. Right. Okay, so you understand that. Yes. Now, I want you to show me all the places where there is no black key between the two white keys. Between here and here. Mm -hmm. Between here and here. Mm -hmm. Between here and here. Between mm -hmm. here and here. Between here and here. Okay, that's good enough. I see you get it. So this is where the natural half steps fall. And when you play the key of C, major, it shows you where all the natural half steps and whole steps fall it, on the white keys. It's a way to base everything else if you want to figure out how it goes. You could do it here and then you use the same intervals and move it somewhere else. Okay? okay. So, you have, you start here, right? Mm -hmm. You don't call this any step because it's just the beginning. You have whole step, whole step, 